one of the most disturbing superstars around. Hey, Saxton. Yeah? He's coming to get you. Don't, don't say that, Corey. He might hear you. members of the New World Order. And his opponent, representing the NWO from Miami, Florida. is an extreme rule 250 pounds the icon ladies and gentlemen by night's end we will crown a new champion no offense to you cole but part of me wishes gorilla monsoon was here for this match just so we can hear him say history has been but that's definitely how he comes across at times And it is for the WWE! The first ever three-time Divas Champion, ready for even more gold! And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and representing the Doom Brigade, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Wrecking Machine. And representing the Doom Brigade. Well, the following contest is a six-man Hell in a Cell match. And is for the WWE. Cena found his long-lost PhD. The Doctor of Thugonomics is back. And from... The WWE Head Beam We'll book out the window and from El Paso, Texas Weighing in at 205 pounds and Spectacular young luchadors around And from Tijuana, Mexico Weighing in at 100 The following contest is a hell in us. Has become more sinister and even more evil.
The WWE Universe is on its feet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 225 pounds, Buddy Matthews! Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. He has made an in-ring career out of doing uh, and yeah. from truth or consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds. Dude, weighing in at 265 pounds. The living legend, Bruno San Martino. Setting the Heart Foundation from Reno, Nevada. Weighing in at 283. And representing the Hart Foundation from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the world a champion from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds. WWE Universe is on its feet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hulkamania is taking over the world. Has already main evented multiple WrestleManias and even held the WWE title for over four years. Hulk Hogan's recent dominance has been impressive to say the least. Very few can actually stand up to his power. Would you say he runs wild on them? Michael, got a question for you. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Byron Cole huh? asked you a question and you didn't answer. Here we go, guys. and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. He 
He's got a good chance of becoming the new champion tonight, and the WWE Universe is buzzing about it. From the mean streets of Connecticut to the WWE ring. And from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, Shane McMahon! He has made an in-ring career out of doing things a man with his upbringing usually doesn't do. He clearly has a few screws loose, but it's paid off for him. He's literally the best in the world. Oh, have mercy! <laughs> and yeah. from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love! Gentlemen, it's always a good time in the love shack. Oh, have mercy! I'm glad you're having a good time, Saxton, because this is obviously a sign of Mick Foley's mental breakdown. some moves. I'm going to go on the record and say that Michael Cole is a better dancer. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. He is the longest reigning WWE champion and in history. From Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino. Gentlemen, I think you'll agree with me. This is like having a god walk among us. Truly a spectacular sight. The living legend, Bruno Sammartino. Yeah, it really does feel like he's more than just a man. Well, to the fans, he is more than just a man. The Hall of Famer, The Anvil. And representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim The Anvil Neidhart. A founding member of the Hart Foundation, multiple time tag team champion, Hall of Famer, and father of Natalia. Few hit harder than the anvil. You know, Jim the Anvil Nyhart guys held the national shot put record. He spent some time in pro football and indeed can throw anybody around. One of the most intimidating superstars you'll find. One of the most powerful superstars in history. And representing the Hart Foundation from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the worldwide wrestling heavyweight champion, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. An all-time great and the pride of England. The British Bulldog, one of the most powerful wrestlers in the history of WWE.
think back to WrestleMania 2 when he won the tag team titles as part of the British Bulldogs. And since then, he's gone on to win the Intercontinental title, the European title, even become a hardcore champion. Speaking of, Byron, have you been housebroken yet? Honky Tonk Man is in the building. Always out of tune, yet always so confident. And introducing the champion from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 247 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, the Honky Tonk Man. Claims the WWE Universe is a wonderful audience. They're not returning the favor. Oh, don't be cruel, Cole. One of the greatest intercontinental champions of all time is here live. Well, when the Honky Tonk Man is here, you always have to watch your back. He's willing to smash guitars on opponents' backs more often than he actually plays them. We know this man's accolades. Honky Tonk Man is ready to play his greatest hits. Eight superstars in the ring to start this match, but there will be only one winner. Action from every end. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Big slam. Tough. Nasty knee. In a no-disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. The Ronnie Meteor. Fuck Jeff, here's a pin for the title. And he breaks up the pinfall. Now dude love. Definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Shot to the mid 
section connects. in this one. Fly. Nice combo. A bad place to be for the challenger. Oh, Matt Slam. With some attitude. Bottom bicycle knee strike. On the jump. Gut wrench and hoisting up their opponent. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And it's Honky Tonk. The time has come for Honky Tonk Man to play his greatest hit. Just let him up with that sequence. But champions need to finish the cover by the champ. What a title defense, and the Honky Tonk Man will leave with the championship again. Here is your winner, and still the WCW United States Champion, the Honky Tonk Man. Good job by our champion holding on to that title. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title.